Good morning. This is the Florida State Watch Office Daily Situation Report for 3 January 2009. The State Emergency Operations Center is currently at a level 3 or monitoring activation status. Nuclear power reactors at Turkey Point, St. Lucie, Crystal River, and Farley are all operating at 100% capacity. All major airports and seaports are reporting no major issues at this time. And now for today's weather. The warm front that brought some shower activity to the state on Friday will continue to lift north of the state today in advance of a developing storm system in the central plains. This system is expected to lift northeast over the weekend, but an associated cold front and strong upper level disturbance will move east towards the Mississippi Valley and then northeast across the southeastern states today and tonight. Showers and storms ahead of this system could begin impacting the western Panhandle counties during the late morning hours, then spread east across the eastern Panhandle, Florida Big Bend, and western Suwannee Valley through the afternoon and evening hours. The associated cold front is forecast to slowly approach the region overnight tonight and begin stalling across North Florida Sunday into Monday. The Storm Prediction Center indicates that thunderstorm activity will likely weaken before reaching the Florida Panhandle, but a few strong thunderstorms containing uh, brief heavy downpours, frequent lightning strikes, and gusty winds will be possible Saturday night through Sunday morning, mainly across the western Panhandle. Further south, a large and elongated ridge of high pressure in the western Atlantic Ocean will continue to extend westward across the Florida Peninsula throughout the weekend and will keep warm and humid conditions in place for much of the peninsula Saturday and Sunday, with only isolated afternoon showers possible along the coast. Dense fog across north Florida and patchy fog across portions of the central and south Florida Peninsula will lift and dissipate during the mid-morning hours. Mostly cloudy skies are expected for most of North Florida, with partly cloudy skies forecast for the Florida Peninsula. Patchy to locally dense fog will again be possible tonight and early Sunday morning across much of the state, but it should not be as thick or widespread as Saturday morning. South-southeast winds combined with an easterly ocean swell will continue a moderate risk of rip currents along the east-central Florida beaches today. The statewide keech Byram Drought Index average is now 516 on a scale of 0 to 800. County KBDI averages in the Panhandle are below 400, while most counties in the eastern Florida Big Bend, Suwannee Valley, and the Florida Peninsula have KBDI averages above 600. KBDI averages in the Florida Peninsula are expected to increase through the weekend as significant rainfall amounts will remain in the Florida Panhandle. According to the latest seasonal drought outlook, Drought conditions currently in place along the Nature Coast and West Central Florida will expand to cover the entire peninsula, including Northeast Florida and portions of the Big Bend during the winter months. With the threat for severe weather, make sure your NOAA weather radio is turned on and working properly. Floridians are urged to keep informed of weather today via NOAA weather radio or local media and be ready to take quick action if a warning is issued for your area. You can also receive text alerts on your cell phone for free from the National Weather Service at inws.wrh.noaa.gov. That's all we have for today. For more information on how you can get a plan, please visit www.floridadisaster.org. Have a safe day.